Be out in a minute, Gwen. It's not Gwen, Ethan. It's Teresa Lopez Fitzgerald. I'm the girl you think is stalking you, but you're so wrong. Please, just let me explain. Why can't people just leave our family alone? Ethan, you know why. The Cranes are billionaires. People are just fascinated by lives of the rich. I understand that, Gwen. And I accept that we have to deal with a certain amount of public scrutiny. But that doesn't give people like Jean-Luc the right to lie to Sheridan, to manipulate her emotions for his own personal gain. And, and he's not the first guy to pretend he cared for her when all he was after was her name and money. Well, Jean-Luc is out of her life for good now. But what if a guy like him targets one of my sisters? Well, hopefully that won't happen. But it could. Or worse, some stalker could try to kill someone in my family, unless I do something to stop it right now. Oh, Ethan, what can you do about it? For starters, I can find this girl who's been stalking me and make an example out of her. See, she's prosecuted the fullest extent of the law. You know, Growing up, my parents always warned that people without money would target our family for their own selfish gain. We're so cynical. I, I never wanted to believe them. But after what Jean-Luc did to Sheridan and now that girl who's been stalking me, I have to say, I believe them. Sheridan. Ethan Crane? Ethan, it's me. Sheridan, where are you? I'm still in the air. Look, I'm worried about you and that girl, the stalker. Maybe you should call the police. No, no, no. I can handle this. There's someone here who might be able to help me find it. Well, be careful. There's no telling what someone like that might do. Teresa, what are you doing? 